How is it going tonight? <clears throat> um. Well, all it right. Is Dib Tunes live. Oh, that we was are to them, actually that live. Was. Yeah, that is to them, the listener. But how are you guys doing, Chris? Well, how are our viewers doing? That's that was know. the first question that the Sean listeners. Asked. <laughs> well, there's listeners and there's viewers. Well, there's no well, who's viewing. I'm viewing. Oh, how, yeah. how are? I, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> how are you? How are you, Bass? I'm doing all right. What did you do today? Trolled you like a master. <laughs> Ate too many tortilla chips. Felt like shit. Played some Final Fantasy fourteen, Still felt like shit. Went out and got Burger King. We'll probably feel like more shit afterwards. Yeah, because it's Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> and it fucking sucks. It's a shit train today. Let's go. <laughs> well, all right. Anybody that defends Burger King is wrong. So what I'm hearing is Bass is about to roll all ones tonight, and it's going to be glorious. Yes. That that should that that should be the case. Hopefully, hopefully for me, it'll be it'll be fantastic. Uh, Tom, you have all of your your stuff, uh, the book and uh, the dice. Yep, yep. Nice little dice tray taken out. Um, Chris finally got one. Yep. Yep. No longer has to use a yeah. microwave. Yeah, Chris has a nice little little square one with mag- magnetic. Uh, uh, oh, they're magnets. Mag- yeah, it's yep. ma- magnetic instead of snaps. It's oh, interesting. It's, it's, it's nice. Who it's knows actually, how it works, but um, magnets. You should sponsor us. They're great. <laughs> Just magnets. Just magnets. Blankets. How do they work? Scientists, you've heard this. Sponsor us with magnets. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, we're open for for any sponsorship. We'll do reads for anything. Just about anything. We'll prove within reason. Yeah, yeah. Any anything. Any we'll do any approved. I'll switch over to Fago for a couple of weeks if we get sponsored by magnets. <laughs> ISP sponsors. <laughs> Why would you switch over to Fago? That's if we get sponsored by magnets. If we get sponsored by about it, Sean, yes. we can explain it after the show. <laughs> I'll send you the video, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it's good brain rot. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm missing something. Ask Andy, me. Andy, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. That's great. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, God. all right. Let's see how many things die and how many of us die. Astan's kids look like Astan. My kid looks like Astan. <laughs> I've lost Andy. <laughs> you never had. You never even had him. I am my own master. Uh, so just playing with my fucking cutting board. Well, yeah, it's got like a hole, so it's like in, uh, in one of those uh, pallets. So you feel like Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, Tom has sent me a YouTube link that I should watch later. To Almost un- certainly to understand what the hell just happened here tonight. Yep, and I'm I'm sure some other people understand what his references were, but I I, I just don't get it. But anyone that listened last week, we in another YouTube link. Okay, so I have I have a I have a, a list of things to watch on YouTube. It's two now, videos. Apparently. They're both short. <laughs> yeah, two. at most it'll take you ten minutes. But uh, thank uh, thank you, Tom, for giving me homework. So last week we, uh, well, you guys, I reckoned a few things from the first episode, which was released today. So that's funny that people are going to listen to that and think that that's what happened. Then, then Goblin Quest will come out and and they'll be left on a cliffhanger, and then I'll retcon half the half of the show. Well, the goblins fucked up the timeline. Uh, no, they created the best timeline. Yeah. <laughs> you could also arguably put Goblin Quest at the end of this. And really start this temporal first. paradoxes. Yeah, That's then you can great. have a Patreon goal again for you can get the original timeline locked behind a like $99 paywall. No, Bass, I'm not going to back there. It's too early. For and that. Uh, too early. and and to to any listeners who are tuning in in or out, feel free to comment and and tell us tell us where if we're if we're coming in too loud, too soft. Um, I can adjust the mic input into Podbean. Uh, haven't quite figured it out. It's a very poor interface. Um, we might be looking for another interface to broadcast through. But uh, um, back back to what. Uh, Alien 
which yep. is an amazing game. You guys uh, made your way into what is essentially a biome area that is used as air scrubbing um, and food production, um, and also is going to help them in this in the terms of um, uh, engineering the planet to be habitable itself. Uh, way out here on the fringe. So, uh, while you were, you got the the ventilation working, you can't get power to the rest of the place without really cutting off that ventilation again at some point until you fix whatever connections are broken to get, uh, throughout the, this, uh, how do I describe this place? It's a mining and research facility out on the frontier. Way, way out. Uh, as you guys... Brain, brain farts. When your brain just walks away, <clears throat> um, you guys threw the glass into the uh, it what essentially amounted to a, a miniature rainforest on this planet. Uh, you were able to see these these uh, sacks, these uh, oval spherical sacks, um, and uh, the marshal investigated one getting uh, attacked by a face hugger a, uh, a creature of some sort he hasn't been identified by this crew yet and that is essentially where we leave off and where we came back where we're coming back into now some would say he was egged into tracking him <clears throat> sent to his death even <laughs> That's, that, that was a great, great, great pun. He died on, of his own free will. Free in quotation marks. Well, No quotation marks. Here's the thing. You can uh, observe him. Uh, is every, I think everyone is, is essentially back there at this point. Yeah, we're in the hallway. Everyone is, is gathered there. Um, the medic could examine him if you like. I would advise it. He died of his own free will... TM uh, copyright symbol. Could I uh, could I do an observation, or would it be a? Because I'd be just seeing if he well, or would it be a medical aid to see if he's alive? I don't know either of those. Free will is a copyright and trademark of the Wayland Utonomy Company. Get out of here, company man! Get the initiative cards back out. You guys can pass that little initiative deck around and take your initiative. We need something. We need something in the background. Feel this one. Just Godzilla roars in the background. Just dead air. Oh, <clears throat> well, we can fill this time with uh, two of our one viewer in Brazil. I don't know hello in Portuguese, but hello. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> I should have looked up hello in Portuguese. Football. Football. <laughs> Why were you that close being that loud <laughs> when I asked you before? It didn't sound that loud. Yeah, what? Red line. Oh, it was weird because it really didn't sound that loud. Well, Pele, if you are the one from Brazil listening, thank you. There we go. Now it's not booming in my ears. Mm. And he just like <laughs> flips his zero. They put a zero in the deck? <laughs> yeah, you just go roll. <laughs> so we'll begin uh oh, yeah, I'll one, call, two, three, nine. Sorry. Call, call out one. Me. Alright, what do you do? I forgot, well, Chris, what was your character's name again? Uh, I am... Nath. 
Nate, Nate, Nate you don't seriously think going in there is going to be a good idea. I don't want that thing to attach to your face and take you down. Well, then I'd advise probably opening fire on it, but we need to see if he's still alive or anything like that. That would make the most sense. That is fair, but I feel like us going in there endangers us at the same time as trying to help him. Do we not, like, have any any protection here? Do we not find a place where the suits are? You know, dealing with uh, anything radio... Well, I mean, this isn't radioactive, but in dealing with any potential dangerous bioorganisms, we should have a suit or something, typically. Look, I'm just saying, man, we gotta... We got a situation here. We have a man down. We don't know if he's alive or dead. That's kind of an issue. We we need to rectify that. Well, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to go with you if you're going to go in there. I'm not going to leave you to yourself, to your own devices. Can't hug both of our faces at the same time. All right. So let's just fine. Fine. We'll go in there together. All right. I mean, you act. All right. What do you do? Me, so I you am doing? going to wait for Nath to make, take his action. I'm going to take no action. Uh, quick, quick <laughs> question: How many more of those things can we okay. see? So, There's well, you don't see any there. right now. You, you, no one's asking. Uh, he, well, he, he's the one with the actions right yeah. now. So here's what you can do. You can trade initiative with him and go after him. Yeah, I'll trade initiative with him. So I'm going to go in after him. Okay. All right. So now it is your now your turn, Nath. Yep. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna. Would it? It's medical aid to see if he's still alive. Correct. I would need to go up near his body and roll medical aid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sounds right to me. I mean, yeah. I mean, it would be a fast action to move through and a slow action to uh, <clears throat> to do that. Right, um, Wait, is the face hugger still on him or no? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. nobody did anything to it. I just wanted to make sure. I mean, like, is it just gone? Am I yeah. misinterpreting the situation? Unless you guys, um, unless you guys remove it, it's, it's going to be there for, for a bit. And I'm gonna, way. I'm gonna enter into the area uh, and I'm gonna roll an observation in order to see uh, if there's any more of those. Uh, Ovaline mm-hmm. objects in okay. there. So I thought we saw multiple of them mm-hmm. last time. Yeah, I think there was, you did two. describe two. Well, uh, look at this uh, area here. You see where the door is? You yeah. guys are entering straight into there underneath one of the... The, the star-shaped thing is a, a sprinkler. And the egg, if someone has a pencil... Oh, my hand. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of sexes. Jeez. Egg right there. You can see the future. And then there were two eggs over here. So the people who were in this room saw two over here and one visible there. And that's the one, that's the one where the guy is down in front of right this there. This one here? Yep. Okay. The one straight out uh, of the door. So I got four successes. Okay. And no panic die. Okay. You think you see movement toward the other end. It's all one zone. But you think you see movement in the in the bushes, over the berry bushes over here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need some covering fire in a second, guys. Observing an area isn't um I mean that's two fast actions. I guess. Does he get a furious action? No. I mean observation um, seems more like okay. a free action to me. So I can ask a few extra questions here. Oh yeah, go ahead. Is ask it, about the environment. Uh so I noticed some movement, correct? Yep. Uh, is that movement coming after me? Uh, it doesn't seem to be moving toward you at this time. Um, how many... 
how many eggs can I, are close by? How many would I think are close by? Uh, you, you are aware of the two on the other side of the foliage around the bend of, of the path that your comrade is laying down on. <laughs> All right. Um, Who also seems to be breathing, I'll add in. What's up? He seems to be breathing. Okay, so he seems to still be breathing. Mm-hmm. Okay. This thing is hugging tightly to his face. He still appears to be breathing. All right. Yep. Uh, and the only other one, a question that I can ask is not really super important. It's uh, how can I get past it or how can I get away? And I'm pretty sure I know how to get away. I mean... The door. Where I came in. <laughs> you could slowly back up with uh, with your eyes on it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and be like, yeah, he's still alive, but like we need to get that thing off of him. Also, there are more of those in here, and uh, there's something moving in here. So, if somebody with a gun could come in and back me up, that'd be great. And that's uh, that's the end of one. Moving two. on to two. Who's two? <coughs> Wesker. Uh, yeah. While the door is open, that is not the right. There we go. Um, I'm gonna look into the room without entering it. Uh, observation. Uh, Alright, that's... Two successes. Um, looking at the egg through the door, does it look like it was like it's? Like it was placed there, or was it just? What's the words? Like, is it? Does it look like it was moved into there, or does it look like it was laid there? Yeah, like, is it like... Oh, um, I mean, the vegetation seems to have grown into it, so it's, so either, no, whether it was uh, grown there or placed there, it seems to have been there for a while, at least. Okay. Like, vegetation has grown around it in, in, in various spots. And we said the last, and we found out the, the last communication from this place was, like, a week ago. Uh, about five uh, five days. Yeah, about a week ago, yeah. yeah. Not, not a bad call there. Hmm. So I'll pass turn. Alright, three. Three. <laughs> That's me. And we just don't have anyone with guns. I, I guess I, I walk in next to my buddy over here. Yeah. Uh... He move, moves out, move, move from one zone to another, and then what do you do? I'll uh, I'll, I'll try and give my uh, best medical, uh, professional medical opinion from this distance right here. <laughs> or you could help move him into the safe area where we are. Well, the, the face hugger's still attached to the guy. Yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, first off, we don't, in character, we don't know anything about these things. This yeah. Thing just popped out of a dude and attacked him. I'm not going to walk up and be like, hey, bud. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to walk up and just, like, poke the thing. I'm going to get my best medical interpretation from this distance. But so you're going to check his vitals, try to remove it all while still in the zone where there's definitely see. more coming. I'm not well, getting we, near we the saw body. Some I'm just looking... But from yeah. this distance yeah. and when a marine comes in well, to I, give us backup so I already told you he's still breathing and alive oh, which is okay. probably about huh. all that well, you're going to get from this distance there's not really much I, I, I want to do until we get a marine to back us up so I think I'm just going to just end there there's like I can so only... you're going to tell the marine to back, back you up y yes he's an NPC yeah yeah. because th we've, we've called for he's called for someone with a gun I'm calling for someone with a gun I'm waiting for someone with a gun Okay, I'm waiting for someone with a gun. <laughs> I mean, arguably, you could roll a command or a manipulation to get it done a little quicker. You can you can roll a command to... <laughs> Gosh darn it, one of you Marines get your ass in here, because that's what your job's supposed to be. Go ahead and roll so, your five. So, I'm going to have... 
can act. Marine one, it was that was there with you guys, right? Hey, we got a six on that command. Nice. I completely forgot about commanding because I should I probably should have done that on my it, It's fine. Why is the sheet right now with him? Marine one is loading in currently. Uh, We've so gotta get his moves, assets. So he moves in. And moves forward into the room. Uh and let me see what's his observation. One and that's off of wit. Yep. So four. No successes. Do you want him to push it? It's up to that one's up. I'm trying to figure out. Sure, sure. Why not? What what's the worst that could happen? Well, at this point, right now, nothing. Press <laughs> potentially. <clears throat> 30 face huggers. Okay. So three successes. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. yeah. in, uh, in, in searching through. And he has uncovered the location of another such creature. Uh, so that was your turn. Uh, yes. That was three, four, five. The face hugger acts. Which one? The one on the guy dude's face? No. Oh. The one that was just discovered. <laughs> And let me see what it does. Are we, are we just sending all these marines to their death? Are we the bad guys? <laughs> Getting conflicting uh, head shakes over here. I am. <laughs> so the face hugger. Who who all is in this room? You. Us two and the marine. And the marine. Marines me... plural, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, marine, five, six. Uh, a four. So, the mm -hmm. first one in the room was the scientist. And the scientist, Nath, is this thing's target as it skitters in your direction. Take one, plus one stress. Okay. And, and go ahead and make a panic roll. Just be my current stress level, yep. right? Well, five and a six. Right? Or would. Right? Or was I supposed uh, to roll? It would panic be. Die, just one panic die and add my stress. Because I just rolled oh, shoot. two panic di dice. Uh, you, have, like you, have a, you have a book handy, right? It's just one. It's okay. one die plus your stress. Okay, one minute. Is this when you want it to be bad or good? Low Seven. or high? Seven? Yeah. A nervous twitch. The stress level of all friendly NPCs within a short range, which would be with, at least within the same zone, or... Uh, so I everyone. think in adjacent. Yeah, that's everyone. Plus one stress. Do we have a six? Tom is on nine. Yeah, I'm on the last one. Oh, okay. So seven would be back to its turn. The the face hugger's turn. Mm -hmm. And it is going to punch the mic. It's going to punch its mic. <laughs> it's breaking the fourth wall. It is coming for Sean as we oh speak. Oh my god, my face! <laughs> oh my god! It's coming right for me! It skitters toward you a little closer, so it's like, imagine this thing zigzagging at you. Seven again. Or, no, six. A six? Yeah. You, you keep it together. Well, did you take the plus one stress? Oh. So seven. does that make it a seven? Yeah. Nervous Everyone twitch. Gets Everyone stress. gets another stress. 
Hey, hey! I pointed this thing out beforehand. It's not my fault the Marine wanted to walk in and observe it instead of opening uh, fire. And there's not an eight. So, Tom, it's your turn. So, there's a nine. Tom. Um, can you open fire, Tom? Do you uh, have an incinerator? No. I think he's got a knife or something. He can try to stab it. I have a knife, but I'm not fucking getting close to that. What's the matchup? Is that like a 70-30 or an 80-20 in the facehugger's favor? <laughs> the face Short range is within the same zone as you. Same zone as you. Okay, so, so any... I, I would take two, the two stress. All right. So, yeah, um, everyone in, yeah. My, my huge question is, aren't, isn't this the same zone? Like, this map, the same zone? No, no. D1 okay. is, is its own zone. We're around the corner. Because right. D1 also extends slightly back onto the other okay, page then, yeah. also. And uh, that whole room is one zone. All right, then. For me, you, and the Marine are all stressing here in the stress zone. I don't think I have a weapon that will hit it. So let me just double check. Well, I mean, not from your current zone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tom, the face slugger has a true Didn't 50, I list 50. off a bunch of equipment in the other room that you guys could have taken? I have equipment. I just don't think I have Well, yeah, we did take some because I have range. a cutting torch. Yeah, everything that we have is engaged range. Yeah. So, no, he wouldn't have anything that can attack it without him having to get close to it. Hold on, check the bolt. Oh, yeah, there were three cutting torches. What about the bolt gun? Or is that something you... I think have? that's it. I think the bolt gun was also engaged range. Oh. Uh, we have the coherence cannon? Well, no, that was the last game. <laughs> we just Scum and villainy. Short range. Oh, episode, okay. uh... That was Dibtoon Plays uh, episodes 4 through 12. Hell yeah. That was 8 episodes? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, we did uh, 8 episodes I'm gonna of that. that up, Sean. So I see we're going to walk into. Oh, it's short range. Actually, that, that's 9 episodes because 4 no, was still inclusive. Have to get into the same zone, so you would have to walk yeah. into the room. Are you going to shoot through the glass? Oh, fuck that. No, never no, mind. Oh my god. Cool. Yeah, I'm just going to roll to punch it then. Okay, so we're back to 1. You didn't pick up a cutting torch? I'm gonna take no. out my gun though. Okay. What good is it if everybody dies? Panic. Uh, four. Nothing, Nothing. You keep it together. So how many successes did you get? Uh, three. How many? Three. Okay. So... Super punch. <laughs> yeah, I just step on the thing. Um... For... Uh, what is your... What's unarmed damage? It's one, right? So three. So burn, I'll burn the other two to... Just add one damage to it. I'll deal so three it's damage. Three damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just be like, this thing's just a giant spider, right? Okay. Try to crush Two. it underfoot. Uh, that'd be me. Well, uh, I'm gonna shoot at it. What do you got? Uh, a service pistol. Okay. Which has medium range, so I can shoot it from the door. Yep. You know, if we kill it before the Marine, whose job should be to kill things. And I miss. All Do right. Do you want to push it? You can't push an attack roll. Oh, okay. Up. Right. Yeah. Three. <laughs> All right, let's get in with my plasma torch. <laughs> you ain't killing Nath, you, you son of a bitch spider thing. <laughs> so I wore up this cutting torch. And completely with. <laughs> Alrighty. Damn it, guys! I'm a doctor, not a not a soldier. Yeah, I'm a medic, Why am I kicking soldier. this thing's ass? <laughs> well, the Marines next, at least. Oh, that's right. He acts on your on your turn. Okay, so he's going to. Uh... Hopefully, not shoot me. What is? Did I, I move to shoot? We all just fucking die in this room. <laughs> 
Oh no! If you, t- if all three of, if you, if you two die, they should be just sealing the room off and, and calling yeah, it a day. Just... I'm fine with this, Andy. <laughs> a scientistless team tries to figure out the mysteries of science. Three successes and a panic roll, and he gets an eight. Oh, he's got a tremble. Suffers a minus two modification, so that's minus two. So he gets... He hits it still. He still hits it. Just no uh, bonus damage. Shoot, what does that weapon deal? What does his assault rifle deal? Uh, infinite damage. Oh, I'm sorry, he's using a, a shotgun. Oh, okay, for close encounters. I'd like to keep this handy. Damage of the violent three. For close encounters. Damage three. Three? Okay. So splat. It goes splat. And you guys are, are out of combat. Oh, thank fucking God. All right, I think we should take the comma- the uh, marshal back to the, ba- to the base and perform, well, whatever we need to perform. We need to figure out what happened here. Okay, so that was the face hugger that was on the other marine, correct? It jumped off. No, no, it's, the, it, it, it's still oh, on it. I saw motion. It was that motion. We need to get this it was guy just back. A free one in the wild past. Well, wait, no, I'm confused out of character. So, so we killed one that wasn't on the marine's face. Yes, that one's still on his face. Yes, yes. So yes. we need to kill that one. And yes. it's not the marine; it's the marshal. Yeah. Oh, the marshal. My bad. Okay. We sent the marshal in to die. I. Well, Andy bad. sent him in to die. That, that's. A bit I different sent than no us. one to do wh- anything. I challenged his masculinity, and he was toxic as fuck. You egged him on to death. That <laughs> yeah, one's kind of on you, man. But how? Do, but how do you know t- killing the thing on him won't kill him? The marine says to you guys. Well. We don't, but we need to get it off of him, and I don't think that this thing's just going to come off. It's it's latched on pretty tight. Here, that's part of the nice. reason why I want to bring off, him. Buddy. That's kind of part of the reason why I want to bring him back to the base. Let's that we not set. bring the things back to the base. It's There's got to be a medic totally station in this place. It, look, if you want to carry this guy around for, like, multiple rooms, be my guest, but there's no guarantee that thing's not going to unlatch itself and dry jumping at your face. Also, we don't know how much suffering this guy's did, currently enduring. When we want you, to, sy- like... you, you synced with the computer here. Did, did you bring up the maps? All right, what, what do I know? <laughs> Beep boop. So you look it up, and uh, E-Complex, above. It's, a, it's kind of like a secondary building that spans above the hallway. You, what you're in right now is basically a U-shaped building. You're in a, a portion of the U where it's about to turn and go straight across, and then it bends upward. Within that uh, straight across corridor, there's two stairwells that go upward into the E complex, which is uh, mining, medical, um, and a mess. All right. If you really want to do this, we can go this way and hopefully get through to medical, but there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to find anything of use there and if these things have been run wild there's also no guarantee we're not going to encounter a lot more of them i mean that one was just free why don't i have the alien soundboard up (laughs) so i was just trying to get us back to somewhere where we at least have i don't know a perimeter set up where we could perform whatever we would need to perform to hopefully get this thing off of him safely. All right, well, how about we just drag this man out of here and lock this room up, and hopefully they can't break through glass and not argue in the middle of where we could potentially encounter more of these sons of bitches. All right, let's just just get this go. Marine, get, get, drag, drag him drag him through. Didn't she say that there were two more of those farther? Yes. Yeah, so we should get the hell on out of here. So this is one... Yeah, we should get out of here. Mm-hmm. Get, get get out of there. All right, I'm gonna retreat. And once everyone's out of there, let's lock this door. Okay. And I assume we are dragging the marshal out. So you guys, the marines drag him out. The marines drag out the marshal. You guys uh, lock electronically lock that door. Um, keep all functions going for that. 
and continuing on from here would either cut power in the room before you Mm -hmm. or the room that you're in which you don't want to do that specifically because you at least want to start resolving systems but you got ventilation throughout the whole place at least you just don't have lights and uh, auxiliary power of any kind Well, what do you guys think that we should do? I think we should go back and just solve and just decide what to do after we make an ed- after we learn some things, make an educated guess. But you guys want to push forward? Sean, I'm going to do a closer examination of the uh our Marshall in question here medically. Okay. All right, yeah, that might be a good idea. Well, okay. they're well, they're hashing out a plan. I'll see what I can do. Okay, you get, uh, you get a plus one because you have a personal medical medical kit, right? Oh hell yeah, I get nine of these bad boys. Then let's go. Can't wait uh, for no successes. Don't forget your stress, my dude. Oh, uh, how much stress? Plus, plus your stress. All right, eleven of these bad boys. You probably mark on your sheet that you. I have to. Yeah. Okay. I did mark them. All right, that will be two successes on a medical examination. Okay. So you see it like attached to his face. You see uh, it has uh, exuded something down uh, atta- that it's, it's still attached to it down his throat. Um, like a, and every t- every time you touch it, it just kind of grips harder and like squeezes his neck and he like twitches a little bit. You you move back and he eases back. He begins breathing regularly again. I don't know if there's any saving this man, unless we have some way to uh, knock this thing out. Wow. Well, because when you try to attack it or touch it, it just constricts harder. So if we kill it, we're going to end up going to kill the marshal at the same time. Unless you just want two for one this, and I advocate against that. I mean, we I could try to get a knife. And... And nuke the entire site from I mean, we could, uh, <laughs> we could try to... It's the only way to be uh, sure. I have a knife. We could try to cut, like, the thing off right quick well, enough it, it, maybe the, the minute you touch it it constricts go for it marine guy I hand the marine guy my knife uh, no 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 no. how about I hand him a cutting torch maybe the plasma does more to the thing than the knife you want to burn him alive now we're not going to burn him If marine you're delicate you got the origami hands? Yeah, you you want the marine to be delicate. Yeah, fine. Uh, you, fine. You, know, you know As what? a medic, you know what? possibly you know a surgeon. That sounds like a I... better... This sounds better for you. <clears throat> All right. I do this as another medical procedure. I, All love, right. I love you both are doing this. Nobody touch nothing. All right. You got two successes. I found Three, the alien four. soundboard. I got successes. five successes. Five? Damn. Five successes... One medical boy with my cutting torch. Can someone get me the book? Because I don't. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you really get anything, but you know what? I just flay him out full autopsy style mm-hmm. in in five seconds flat. You uh, <laughs> you might as well. So I just try to remove the thing from him. You uh, go to start cutting off the legs with the cutting torch. And it burns the creature. You hear like a, a, a shrill scr- uh, scream. It tightens around his neck. And a- an acid begins leaking out and burning his face. He stops breathing. The creature is dead. <laughs> and so is the subject. <laughs> Alright, now is the time that we perform an autopsy. Bass, did you forget out of character that these things had concentrated? In character, we I don't know, have I, I any. Know, I, I also know. forgot oh, out okay. of character. Because he seemed surprised, <laughs> like, facially when... <laughs> Was there anything, Tom, for medical stunts? No, it doesn't really. Oh, okay. You can heal a person, but... Well, acid you can't kind of doesn't really you can't heal this. Guy. I regret to inform you, Agent Wesker, that he sure as hell ain't coming back. But neither is the weird face thing. So, uh, so are you gonna like find out what? Yeah, well, you you guys can figure out. I've, I've got this one. What the I'm hell you need to do? I can stick back here and just uh, work out what I can with the tools I got here. Which with four other successes, Sean, can I 
like just proceed into kind of a bit of an autopsy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can totally see but, how it has injected something all the way down his throat, and you start peeling it back after the acid uh, clears up a little bit, and um, which has basically eaten down through the floor at this point. You can see the outside floor. Um, and you guys are like in the hallway? Yeah, we're in the yeah. hallway just okay. outside. So now that room is compromised to the outside. Um, just so you're aware. Wait, down below for later. us, right? Yeah. Okay. Because it's up on stilts somewhere. All these buildings are up on oh. like risers. Imagine like shipping containers with like lattice work, leg work underneath them. Gotcha. Something that could easily be landed and, a, and more attached. But like huge. Wumbo. Wum- Wumbo sized. Let's uh, get another tense. Just one tense. I don't remember. That's cool. I'm going to take the. Well, however long it takes, I feel like trying to discern what it was in. Because it looked like it was injecting something into him, right? Yeah. So this I'm going to try and. isn't the music I want for this. <laughs> Go further and dissect this man further, but I, that's going to take some time, I know. So that'll be my job for the next X amount of time. I want a movie now to have a like full 10-minute ASMR-ified autopsy session in like a serial killer movie <laughs> to this music. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe for the next part of this human dissection. All right, here we go. <laughs> so what do you want to do? So, oh, the acid opened up the floor and we found the choir. Bass said he was going to perform an autopsy. Um, I'm thinking about... Moving. Right here in the hallway? We found yes. the boss fight. I know, it'll take some time. Yeah, but that's going to take a lot of time. It's going to really stall the adventure to, yeah, to like, grind it. Especially oh. if we, like... Presumably, we're going to remove power from this room, so right. you're going to lose lights in a second. You should probably Are you removing either... power from this room? Did you drag him back to the home bit? To the, to no, the we're still in the, the hallway. Yes. Yeah. So, so we're still going to be looking D1. for the medical section then. Okay, so we're just going to go to. Or do we want to drag e. him back to the main? I was going to say drag him back to the okay. main. We'll remove power from this room and we'll move on. Well, I mean, now he's dead, so. Yeah. Both of them are dead. I feel like one of us should stick back and figure out what the hell it's doing, but... Like, out of character, I'm not trying to solve the adventure, but I feel like, as the medic, I'd want to figure out what it did to him. Yeah, and as a scientist, I'm also intrigued by this. I mean... So for me, it would feel natural. I go back to base camp and do everything I can and then relay them the information. Even though I know I won't be with them, it's what I would kind of do as nope. professional. Let's totally ignore this and just steamroll ahead, guys. So I am going to advocate that I stay back and do what I can at the base camp while they press on. And if they get to the medical station, then I can potentially move to there. You, you would have more equipment to see what it was trying to do at the, at the medical station. But they need to get there, and it needs to be clear. And I don't know that and yet. We also have to haul this body. It's just a dead body, it, dude. Like, that's... It's not going nowhere. We can, it, it's, a lo- it's a dead body with a dead thing attached to its face. It's significantly less threatening than it was five minutes ago. I'm just worried that it might have, like, implanted eggs like some insects do to lab hosts. And then if we come back here and it fucking explodes... Well, yeah. What? I roughly picture picture the egg that it hatched out of and then try to picture that in a human body, and I'm like... I think we're good, Out of character, I don't know how large those pods were, so... They're fairly large. Oh, yeah, fairly yeah. large. Okay. Like waist high. Yeah. Like it would be noticeable okay. if that was inside. We'll redact that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, we can just bring him to the. Bring him to the medical. That's what place. we got Marines for? Yeah. All well, right. We only have one Marine on us. We left two back at base. Mm-hmm. Because it's more than I'm zero. gonna run back and grab a. Uh, what was that? Uh, bolt shooter, whatever. Bolt gun. Bolt a gun. bolt gun. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a bolt gun so that I'm not. Ha- I don't have to fight unarmed. Again, you know, I'll dr- I'll drag this man's carcass around. I think I can drag without. 
No, Marines. The Marines would obviously help yeah. you. Kind of want the well, I want the Marine to have gun ready, not yeah. dead body ready. It's a free action to drop, okay. to drop and draw. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. Sounds like the plan. All right, we're moving forward, guys. So, uh, should we remove power from the first room so that at least this way we have a room that we can fall back to without having to change power? Correct. Sure. I mean, you you inform the other Marines back there we're going to be doing that, right? I mean, yeah. You could always investigate the power issues also. Just make that your target goal right now, too. Well, I mean, yeah, if we can, if we are right now, it sounds like the nearest thing is going to be medic medical. Yeah. So that's why we're like, all right, med- well, yeah, well, go, medical you, totally first. You go into the next room and upstairs and it's one of the rooms upstairs. Yeah. So medical is the first thing for that reasoning. But, like, we'll investigate the power thing once we get closer to where power and auxiliary power would be located. Because I've gotten nothing from anything I've rolled last time with that stuff, so. Okay. So what are you doing? You just easily move the power from where? The, the first room? Yep. From the first room to section E. Okay, so you do that, there. and you move in, you threw a D2 through that door there, yep. and uh, everyone's going? Yes. All, all Including I, all the Marines, okay, everyone's yeah, going, trust. so two Marines are carrying the body, and you've got lights in this section, and it looks like there was a war in here. There are shell casings everywhere. Um, the outer edges of the uh, of the building are torn, so it's slightly exposed to the outside. Um, the air vents along the edge um, have some uh, bullet marks in them as well, and there's what appear to be claw marks in uh, some areas. Um, there are stairs on either side, uh, one close to you, uh, facing away from you, but leading upward. And then uh, one facing you further down, also leading upward. So kind of like a like a staggered stair. Two two ways to get up to the same area. And it looks like it goes to a door at the other end. <clears throat> and uh, there's a bunch of stuff piled against the door. All right. Well, this isn't an ominous thing of things to come, now, is it? It's it is very ominous. <laughs> I don't have a joke to to crack here. It's you know what? I, I eat one of my candy bars to try and calm myself down. And I'm like, <laughs> I guess we keep pressing forward to the medical. Yep. You know, you know. Can I make an observation of this hallway? Maybe, maybe there's something of note here. I'll roll a knob. See what I can figure out here. I need. Yeah. You going up the first stairway or the second stairway? Um, the one close to you. Whatever one gets us the medical. Yeah, I'll go oh, up the first the one. Area. What? They both go to the same area. Oh, yeah. I'll go up the closer one. Okay. One success on observation. If I notice anything, I notice it. In which section when you go up the stairs? Yeah. Okay, well, this area is dark. Okay. Um, and this one. So, uh, no, f- uh, flip the one fl- uh, around, flip both of those around. So you were coming up that set of stairs there, right there, yep. And you're right next to a set of locked uh, bolt doors, like a, like shield locked, heavy duty doors. Um, and you are on the edge of the area on the next sheet, um, which uh, has signs hanging up for uh, medical, um, 
resources, uh, just various things. There's a mess hall and a kitchen. But, like, no light. The light is not on up here, no. The light is only on in the hallway. In the E, in the e corridor. <laughs> Divert more power. Construct additional pylons. I mean, there's not really much that we can do without power, guys. Uh, we're gonna have to, I guess, look for po- look for the power supply. Okay. Because well, like, we well, really can't do much. I guess okay. we can lock ourselves basically in here if that's what you guys want to do. There, Get a little bit more power in this room. But... Just, just so you know, all of the power. You could, it's it's all rigged on the outside on, you, on the outside. It's not like it's inside the wall. So you see cables, tubes all over the place. You could start investigating boxes and see if any fuses have been pulled and if anything's been shut down, purposefully or not. Observation check. Uh, could I roll a com tech for that? Yeah. Where are you? You're you're up the stairs now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if you uh, across, I would just okay. say across from you across from the stairs would be an access panel. Okay. And uh, you open the panel, and there's no lights on any of the switches, and the main switch is still on. So um, let me, uh, let's say downstairs where it, where all the fighting happened, because you roll observation up here. I didn't mention mm-hmm. any bol- any bullets. Yeah. So we move you. It, you run back downstairs thinking about that and you do see um, some control panels that may have taken some shots so now your comm tech is more of in a reparative okay looking at this um, so you open up all the panels uh, can I get the book real quick I need to see the analysis talent and uh, would arguably my system diagnostic device help or no? Yes. Okay. Yes, it would so give you the plus an additional one two die. die. Two die. Yes. Ooh, can I have everyone's initiative cards back? Thank you. But don't do the sound of microphones being bumped against. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. That one, that's all me. Bumping into microphones. It was like it was right on cue. Bonk. <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, that was me. Oh, you, was it? You rubbed the, uh... Oh, I, <laughs> I was gonna say, that was bad, so I didn't touch the mic. I was about to say, it happened right at the same time as you were opening <laughs> your drink, so I thought you were doing something weird with the cap over there. <laughs> I thought you were squeaking it or something. We paid for them. While you paid for the mic, I'll use the whole microphone, including all the parts you're not supposed to use while recording. Please don't do that, Andy. Guys, don't please don't do things that intentionally lower the quality of the show. Andy over here just rubbing one out, rubbing one out live. Oh, Sean, that good <laughs> ASMR. Which... By the way, we, we've mentioned in the past, but we, we really wish Andy would do the show with clothes on. It's really what's <laughs> the main thing that's stopping us from do, taking the show live. The second you stop and, doing this in my house, I'll, I'll put on clothes. I mean, this is why this game is private and not in a, on a visual medium, because there's no, only one visual medium, and they just started... We, we couldn't do it if we wanted to now, because they just banned porn <laughs> on it. And it would be mildly pornographic to have, to have Andy be naked. Yeah, we can't scream when I'm only fans anymore. Nope. I gotta, they shut that I gotta shit down. actually do this in two two rolls here. Because it works so well for every other platform where they ban shit like that off of. Yeah, I remember when Yahoo bought yeah. Tumblr and Tumblr. sold it out oh, yeah, that. Wait a minute, can we make OnlyFans 2? <laughs> and be like, yo, you can do porn here. That one's uh, up to our resident tech. Fans too. That's up to our resident tech expert. Well, fine, OnlyFans 3. And all right, I got a single success. My question is, when they pull it all from okay. OnlyFans, what's going to be left that they think they can get investments but, on? Like Tumblr, a barren wasteland. <laughs> oh, that means they might do a CEO video for OnlyFans. Sonic fan fiction will be the only thing left. <laughs> hey, man, don't don't pull me into this. 
I didn't. Do you write Sonic fan Shod, fiction? They said take down all Sean, the poems. That's a question <laughs> that I don't think you want the board. answer to. Do you want the answer, Sean? No, no. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> okay. There are questions that you just shouldn't ask. I feel, I feel like I'll get the answer no matter what on our new show that will be coming out in September, Dib Tunes Talks, where Chris and I watch cartoons, talk about them, and essentially just make jackasses of ourselves in front of a green screen. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh... Back to Alien, um, you cobble together some rough connections, and you hear everything kind of come on upstairs and whatnot. And we got power, power boys. The Hell power yeah. has been restored. I feel like this is a benchmark moment where I just want to say you guys should look into the experience system and decide if you get experience points and how many at this point. Because I don't remember how it works. I feel like this is probably something we should have discussed before starting. It <laughs> is. It feels like it feels like we should we should uh, talk more about this um, next time. Uh, so we'll um, we'll dole out experience at the beginning next time and whatnot, and and uh, push it in. Yeah. But now you it seems like as though as, as you explore this new upstairs area, you have. Um, on the far end, you have the CDC that I drew, like, beds in there. That's a med bay with a bunch of beds. Um, there are... There's filing. Um, there's uh, storage, dry goods. There's a cooler. There's a kitchen. And there's uh, dining tables in the middle area. And uh, it's quiet. Wait, this is the med bay? No, this is a general living oh. yeah living area, uh, service area, the the company-owned area for all the company employees, all the miners, medical bay, like I said, is that area up there where I drew the beds in. Well, yeah. Me and the Marines will deposit the said body in the medical bay, and I'll get to work. Um, I will roll an observation roll on uh, Mr. Guy here myself. Less about him and more about the alien creature. I'm going to need that die. Oh, it's still over by Tom's book. Yep. Sorry. Man, we have a lot less dead air this week, at least. We're being more talkative. All right. Ooh. All right. Let's see what happens. Panic. I got a... Panic while doing that. Blech. Well, wait. What are you trying to do? Uh, observation. Uh, to do what? To, uh... Observe. Observe what? Uh, you, what it, specifically what? the alien creature and the like. Um, this isn't a situation where you can fail, really. I, I can actually ask you certain questions, given my talent. Okay. Um, I would like to see the book in a second. I got a four. For the panic roll. Keep it together, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep okay. it together. One through six is keeping it together. All right. Um. So then I have two successes. I'll ask you two questions, Sean. Where are you on, Chris? Uh, uh, page seventy-seven. Looking through this book has been brought to you by Mountain Dew. Not really, but Wait, that's, hopefully someday. That's not who published this book. <laughs> no, but looking through it at this moment on, on, on the broadcast, because I was just drinking a Mountain okay. Dew, so why not? Oh, also I have access to the alpha of that game. You have access to the alpha? Yeah. Oh, we should play that sometime. Not on the air, because I think <laughs> they're trying to keep that a little more quiet. So uh, I mean, it yeah, was we only should, but we should totally. To patrons, so. so yeah, we should totally play the alpha of um, of the One Ring, also by Free League, that will be coming out l- later this year or early next year, later whenever this year. later this year. So Sean, yes, Chris, um, I will ask you, uh, what is the purpose of the thing leading into his mouth? It is to inject something into the chest. All right, and uh, what problems could it injecting something into the chest cause? Um, 
acute deadness. It seems like it, it, it could be growing something within the body. Right. Oh man, it's almost like I I'll was be right. keeping that to myself, guys. Well, I'm going to do an actual full medical examination now sure. that I'm in the medical room. Okay, so you, so you begin that. Um, <laughs> you know, probably that's gonna, ascertain the that's same gonna thing. That's going to take. That's going to take a while. Yes. yes. So, what does everyone else want to do now while in this oh, area, where yeah. it seems like we've come to an end of a shift? Which, by the way, at this point, this thing is falling off of his face, and the thing is trailing out of his mouth. Yeah. Well, it was dead, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't have to roll anything right now. Oh. It's just a long... This is like a long-term thing. Yeah. So, so I'm guaranteed success. It just takes a while. You're, you're guaranteed yep. success. You're going to get information. All right. Well, if you got, like, three or... I got the start pieces. of your action you is the end... The is the end of a shift. Okay. Which is it. how time is uh, kind Measure. of gauged in in this game. Rounds, shifts, uh, days. Three shifts in a day. Uh, I'm going to take some time with my signature item to reduce my stress. Mm-hmm. I'd yep. like to do that too. <laughs> it's on stress? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't need to. And you guys can kind of interact with each other in character as a... I need just a moment um, to myself. I need to take a walk down the hallway. Uh, please don't leave dead air. Oh, all right, yeah. Oh don't worry. Well, <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a one-man band right here. We got the squeaky sharpie. Please stop please that. Please take a break. And then we have the, all right, guys. the bang can. <laughs> all right. Wow. So, I'll just say it. That shit was nuts. Yeah, we should find a ship to leave. Like, yeah. Fuck this place. Almost certainly. Fuck the company. How about we find the ship that was stolen from us? It's probably gone. Yeah, that dude. That dude was smarter than fucking any of Wait, us. Wait, can't here. we track like, that? Your computer would you think? To see? Yeah, I don't fucking care. That guy was smart. He got the fuck out of Dodge immediately. All right. Well then. Uh, well, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's that's the fucking plan. We need to live and get out of here. <laughs> well, open up the map and find us the out button. All right, listen, Charlie. I feel like you're prob. I can talk to you about this, man. <laughs> All right, I need you to make sure that we don't fucking die. I mean, I'll be right back. I make no promises for the medical people. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm a scientist. I'm not a. I'm not a medic. Also, so, like, I'll throw Wesker behind at any point. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Thank that guy's you. a dick. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> so. With that being said, what the fuck is the plan to get out of here? Like, there's probably more of those things. Well, they have to have had a ship to land, right? Yeah. So let's find that. All right. And attempt to leave. Any of you all know where they might have, I don't know, like a flamethrower or something? Um, probably stashed in like an armory or something, huh? I mean, they might have mining stuff. They might have explosives. Yeah, explosives might... probably would fuck that thing up too. Yeah, that might work. So, we find anything about it out about this dude's body? I'm currently. Doing what I can. It's going to take some or time. maybe it would be safer yeah. to just, you know, set up a distress beacon, hide in the mines, and just, like, collapse the mi- the front part of the mines. That's so a, we're trapped in there. That's a dumb idea. Why? What if no one comes? What if these things came from the mines? What if they come, and then the things... What if we run out of air before anybody comes? 
Frankly, I'd rather run out of air than whatever the hell that happened to uh, yeah, Marshall over there. I'd rather run there. out of air than, than that guy's face. Just shoot yourself in the head oh. then. It'll be a less uh, excruciating way to die, right? You'd rather just choke to death? Yeah. My Seems name's peaceful. Spiking so much. It's it's one way not. or another, choking to death, really, it looks like. like. I'm not advocating that we choke to death, but I'm saying if you're looking to take the easy way out, you might as well just do it with a pull of a trigger as opposed to spending X amount of hours in a mine that you know you can't get out of, and you're eventually probably going to go insane knowing that, hey, you're dying here. Yeah, and there's that. a 0% chance of survival. The Marines are idea. looking on this conversation just like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? You know, I looked at him and was like, Marines, Marines, if you have a better idea than finding a way off this godforsaken place, you can chime in at any time. All right. Look, I'm just saying it's a backup to us not having a way off the planet. Curtis? Yeah? You know you're my friend. Uh Uh-huh. You are spending too much time talking to us about this and not enough time on the, uh... Body. Examination. I'm multitasking. I don't know, man. That's probably not good. Yeah. Pay attention to the task. Cut that man open and figure out what happened. I want to do it delicately. I don't want to just take a knife and slice down the middle. I can rupture some organs. I mean, yeah, do do an autopsy, man. But I'm like, doing that right now, and I'm calling myself in the process of it talking to you guys. You ever had some like surgery chit chat while you're in the field? I'm oh. a character. Do no. you know how an autopsy's done? Because they kind of just split them up the middle, pretty much. Oh no, out of character. Yeah. No, I have no fucking clue. Yeah, yeah. you just cut them. Open. Okay, I just <laughs> cut them open, Fine. and typically they might, depending on like the violence of the death, there may be some like breaking open bones and sawing through things to figure Fine. things out. I cut this son bitch open, because... <laughs> Brought to you by Street Fighter. <laughs> Sponsor us, Capcom. Shout... Shout us out, Capcom. Yeah. Hashtag Hadoken. Is that how this works? <laughs> Hashtag Shadow Scrub. <laughs> so, as you guys are having this conversation, you hear footsteps... Oh yeah, that's Come, that's what we want. Human hear. footsteps. Human foot, like like boot footsteps, coming, and then you hear him coming up the stairs, and from across the room, you can see your pilot come up the stairs, and he says, "Well, we got the only ship. Theirs is destroyed on the other side of the over by the mines." The guy who left us. Yeah, the guy who left us. Yeah, I just, pull out that bolt, the just, uh, bolt gun, and I'm back. like, oh, hey, motherfucker. The shit? Well, at least we know that no one stole the ship. Yeah, yeah I guess that's good. I'm not going to shoot you. I'm just really fucking angry at the fact that we... It's, where the fuck did you go? I thought it was weird that their ship, that their drop ship, wasn't right on the pad. I thought it was weird that you didn't communicate that you were leaving. Yeah, like, so you felt the best option would be to leave all of us behind with no with no communications. There's and your headset in the grass. Yeah, what about that? I had my orders from whom? Then doesn't everyone have their own orders on their on their data pads? I thought it was from the company man here. No. No, I didn't send you any orders to just peace out. Well, no, I did a sweep. Looking. No, 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 I told you to do a sweep. All right. Look, we got the ship. We can just fucking leave now, right, guys? Yeah, it's causing interference. Yeah, I can hear that. (laughs) He yeets down the hallway. (laughs) Sorry, man, but like it was, it was interfering with your mic. I could. No, I hear, I heard okay. it. Yeah, I, it was off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was just the the Bluetooth signal. Somehow, weird. I have no idea. Fucking weird, man. Um, but anyways, <laughs> now nah, guys, we were just playing like a 1980s rampage, destroying buildings. Mm-hmm. That's what it sounded like. Actually, it was like a <laughs> old uh, Data East game of some kind. Yeah, right. Let's just fucking leave then. Yeah, you, you're, you're back the ship, here, right? We can just all we could leave, just vamanos. Right? Assuming leave, leave that leave the off. body, fuck that. So Let's not, just go. Yeah, I'm obviously gonna leave the damn body here. 
I mean, I kind of want to take that thing back. No, we're not mean? taking this thing no. back. No. no, not the body. The the thing that's attached to the body. No, we're not taking that back either. I said I kind of wanted to. That seems dangerous. I'm going to overrule you there, Nath. Look, I'm just saying. It's a scientific The blood marvel. out of that thing, the other one, melted through the floor. Yeah, it's a scientific marvel. Yeah, I can understand that, but unfortunately it's also very dangerous. We take that back and it causes some mass whatever the hell. Yeah, it's going to be on we you. we want that on the spaceship. That's fair. Explosive decompression's not fun. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's uh, let's just head out then, right? You got the ship. The ship still works, right? Yeah, it's it's gassed up, fueled up. We should be able to leave. We should be able to. Because I want to make it clear, I'm probably not the only one who's thinking about pulling the trigger on you. Yeah, we don't have to go that far now, Nate. Some people just make some honest mistakes. You know, it's gonna be okay. We'll just let's get out of here. I had orders. They were from the company. That's all I can say. I did a sweep and I came back. I didn't realize you needed me. Why was your... We tried... People tried to contact you, man. How about this? We go back to this ship and we contact those My who gave you your orders. My headset sparked out. So I tossed it. Had bad interference. Seems sus. We'll I, head I, back I, <laughs> and we'll contact whomever gave you orders, and we'll figure what, it out from there. What? Well, it's gonna be about it's gonna be about about twenty four hours. It looks like from the storm that's coming in. The best I could do on the horizon. Be contact if you guys brought me the headset back, but like nobody brought the headset back. They oh, I just... was checking people's pilot to see if we'd be okay if we killed him. <laughs> Two. I, I'm better than you, but not by much. So there's a storm. Yep. It, uh, the pilot tells you that it appears that there is a storm on the horizon coming. It should hit within a, within the hour. And it looks like it could last for a day based on just the horizon. You park the ship somewhere where it's not going to get annihilated, right? Oh, it should be able to withstand it. As long as it's not flying during it. We could We could get there and out within an hour, you think? Or are we, we here for the day? We would get caught in the okay. So we're here in the for storm the on the upper end of it. We're here for the day. All right, all right. Just the electrical interference alone would would put us down before the storm even hit. Hey, can you pass me the marshal's headset, and data pad, and everything? Um. Yeah. I- uh, who who's near the body? I'm still near the body. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I'm like, here, here you go, Nath. You uh, do what you gotta do. These are yours now. Don't worry, they're already synced up to me. Pilot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank can, you. We can keep track of you. How's my autopsy going now? As we slice through. Okay. Get visceral. I'm gonna roll an observation check. So in the area. Hang on, Andy. This is just to kind of make sure that nothing gets the drop on us or anything. Okay. He's just what rolling area? something to make. Just the room we're in. Just, yeah. Just the yeah. medical bay or the, the, the main area? The main area, really. Okay. Because, like, you got vents up above. Um, did you roll your stress with that, too? I don't have he any. He doesn't have any stress. Oh, okay. Um, he might be about to. Yeah, I'm going to push it. Push it real good. Ba, ba, da, ba. Ba, ba. Push it real. Nope, still no. Okay. Pushing it is pointless. Yep, no, there's uh, nothing you really see um, useful or detrimental to you. It just seems like the place has been abandoned for a while. I'm going to gather up some food. I mean, if we're going to be here for a day, we might as well eat a meal or two. Okay. Could eat the marshal. I'm just kidding. As uh, as you're working food. on the autopsy, <laughs> fifty face huggers come out of his asshole. No, <laughs> how they all fit up there. Soon after, sp- actually spreading the chest open, as you begin your exploratory.
blood explodes. Nice. And out comes this small creature with these, it's like, it looks like a long worm-like body, these bare teeth leaning out in front of the face. It's got these uh, spindly legs and these little arms, and it writhes around a little bit, and then it bolts immediately out of sight, um, like two zones away, like so out of that room, across the hall, into another room, like kind of like a diagonal shot. Or around the corner, rather. So it's in the room, down from it. One zone, two zone. <laughs> Over at the comms. I don't want anyone to panic now, but... uh. <laughs> so toward me from the med bay. <laughs> so what the, you're saying storage is room. panic, okay. And there's lots of vents what are we panicking in, every about? Room now, in every room now. Unfortunately, it seems uh, Marshall here is now newly a mother, or father, or uh, however you want. Uh, some little sucker just burst right out of him and has now escaped my vision. Which is what I was a little worried about here. But we do know that they and can reproduce through us by using us. You know what? We're going to draw initiative next week. All right. Because that is the end of our show. That is all of our time. Hey, thank you all for listening. And, You've uh, all been super, super great. Thank you, Patron Terry. And Dave. Thank and you, Patron Dave. Patron Dave. Patron Dave. Makes it sound seem like a saint. <laughs> well, I mean, he's giving, giving me an, uh, money to keep this going. So... Thank you all. Even the the few who listen always help us keep us going. Oh yeah, uh, definitely love people listening. So you guys all have a good night. Diptoons Plays podcast is a Diptoons Animation Studio production, produced by Sean Dibble and Derek Goodison, edited by Sean Dibble. Music from Pixabay.com. Like and follow us on. Facebook at facebook.com slash dibtoons. That's D-I-B-T-O-O-N-S. And on Twitter at ToonsDib. That's T-O-O-N-S-D-I-B. Thanks for listening.